Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic number seven, combining and, and, or. You can express more complex conditions by combining and, and, or in one statement. Here is an example from the previous page which you can use as a reference. This statement will evaluate to true if the day is Tuesday or Thursday and their age is 15 or 16. We have a little example down here. It says, if the day equals Tuesday or Thursday, so the variable is day here, so it's saying, if either of these two days pop up, that's one condition, and the age is 15 or 16. And remember, if the ands are here, that means we have to get a true statement out of both of them in order to write this. We have a do this. We've provided you with the starting code that prompts the user to enter a day and their age and stores the results in variables. Add an if statement that uses both and and or operators. The app should write sleep in if it's the weekend and the user is a teenager. Otherwise, it should write, uh-oh, I have to get up. And then we're going to try it out. This seems a little more difficult, but I think we can handle it. Let's look at our code down here. We have our variable day and it's a prompt. So we're gonna have a box that comes up here that says enter a day of the week. Then we have another variable called age with a prompt num. So we're gonna have yet another box come up and this is gonna ask the user to enter their age. We're gonna write day is and age is down here and we have a string going back to our variable. Looks like we put our code down here. What are we going to have to put in? Well, this one is going to be an if and else statement. Because we have, if these things are met, one thing happens, else something else is going to happen. We know it says sleep in, it's the weekend, if the user is a teenager. So sleep in, I'm just going to copy this right here, sleep in. We're going to go to write quotation marks, sleep in. Otherwise, we're going to write, uh-oh, you have to wake up. So sad. We have our two things displayed right there. Now we have to take care of the if. If you look up here to my example, my example is going to look almost identical to this right here. We are going to first say, and we got to put double uh, parentheses here because we have something nested in here. So we have our variable within our condition. So we have day is going to equal, and we're going to use quotations because we want it exactly like that, Saturday. Or, and or is this two lines right here, our day equals Sunday. Our two variables here are getting whatever's prompted here and comparing it to Saturday and Sunday. In this case, only one of these has to be true. We're going to add our ands, and we're going to pretty much do the same thing, but with age now. So does the age equal 15? Or is the age equal to 16? We have two little things here. We're missing our semicolons. Let's put our semicolons in there. How I have it written, if the day is either Saturday or Sunday, one of these conditions are met, and 15 or 16, one of these conditions will met, you get sleep in. If only one of these two get met, it goes, uh-oh, you have to wake up. Let's go ahead and test our code out. Let's do the easy one first. Saturday. Hit OK, and age, 15, OK, it should say, sleep in, which it did. Let's reset and run. Let's do Tuesday, and let's do 15 again. Uh-oh, you have to wake up, because only one of the two ended up being true. Let's try one more. Let's try a uh, Saturday, and the age, we'll use my age as always, 23, hit OK, uh-oh, you have to wake up. Looks like our code as working is intended. Please remember that chart from the previous couple here that is very important and it really will help you out moving forward with these lessons. 
Looking back up, we added an if statement that uses both and and or operators. The app does write sleep in if it's the weekend and the user is a teenager. Otherwise, it did write, oh, you have to wake up. I think that's all code.org wanted. Let's go ahead and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.